Hey, I am standing here in Lisbon, Internoise 2010, together with Richard Ballinger from Kobe in Denmark. And uh, Richard, you have done a paper here in Lisbon. Yeah. Could you tell us a little bit yeah. about the name of the paper? Yeah. Yeah? The paper is how can we use uh, large reverberant rooms to um, for group conversation. My colleague and my, uh, Elizabeth Erasmus and myself okay. yeah. presented yesterday. Yeah, it's a rather historic building. Could you tell yes. us a little bit about it? It was an extreme example of, of a, a, group, a room going to be used for group conversation in the school, um, which is a listed school okay. um, with a reverberation time in excess of three and a half seconds. Okay. So, um, three and a half seconds? Yes. Yeah. We weren't allowed to do anything on the ceiling or the roof, uh, ceiling or the walls. Okay. Uh, no, no, nothing on the surfaces. So we had to, to find a, a way of uh, achieving good re acoustic results without, okay. without that. Yeah. Why couldn't you do anything on the ceilings? Because it was a, a listed room, uh, it's, so uh, historically listed. Okay, so you were not allowed to do not it? Not allowed to do it. Okay. No. Yeah. But then we did some uh, research into how, by using screens, um, how we can achieve uh, good results uh, with still a, a, a quite a higher reverberation time, yeah. uh, and then compared it in our in our model with um, various scenarios where we could have done something on the ceiling and the walls. Okay. Yeah. Um, and the results have shown uh, quite good results, although we haven't uh, met the requirements of what the, the building codes. Uh, okay. What What's the requirement? requirements? Uh, in Danish schools. Uh, it's 0 0.4 seconds okay. um, for group, uh, group conversation, group work, um, and we could achieve about 1.3 seconds okay. uh, using screens, absorbing yeah. screens alone. Is that okay when you make a refurbishment in Denmark? No, no. And it wouldn't be alright, and normally as if, if you have a, without screens uh, and a reverberation time in, in, in that as high as that it wouldn't be acceptable. Okay. But then we've compared um, the values with, with its rever high reverberation time with screens and compared it with the very low reverberation time of 0.4 seconds. And um, we found that um, uh, in the same, on the same table the results are quite similar, uh, but it was actually in, um, better to get uh, a high reverberation time on screens than the low reverberation time for the, 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 uh, the tables, you know, the, the areas next to it. Okay. Um, yeah. Achieving better privacy in, in, uh, between, between these places. Yeah. Um, our main uh, problem has been um, trying to find out how much background noise has been uh, yes. when people are speaking. There are other issues in that, apart from the, the, the acoustical treatment of the room. Um, but another thing we've compared with, we've, we've compared with um, speech intelligibility. Uh, that's been the main factor we've been using because, of course, the reverberation time we couldn't really adjust that any more than by using the absorption screens. And then we've looked at other parameters such as uh, clarity, okay. uh, clarity uh, C50, yeah. and, uh, and, and definition. These uh, alone they don't uh, compensate for background noise problems, which has been the big issue here. Yeah. Um, but we've found a, a quite a good correlation with C50 and the, okay. and the SDI. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so there are other things than the yes. reverberation time yeah. that is important. Yes. Yeah. In in uh, but but um, the most important for, for rooms where um, there's different conversations going at the same time mm -hmm. is of course speech intelligibility. Um, um, because if you can, even though in a large space, if the local the, the local zone the, mm, yeah. the reverberation time is, is okay, and um, the, the speech television is good, then then it doesn't really matter that you've got uh, back. Okay. Not, not as much as you've got here. No, yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. No. Yeah. Okay, but according to the uh, legislation, it should be 0 0.4. Yes. But it is 1.3. Do, yes. do you think the local authority will allow them to? Build this room or refurbish no, this room? No, I think we have to. Said they, but what it needs, you have to to, to tell them, you know, um, other parameters. Yeah. Um, I think there's a, a lot of should be a lot more focus about uh, speech intelligibility um, and uh, uh, the the lower the, the more 
uh, subjective um, yeah. experience through a relation yeah. uh, EDT, for example, locally. Yeah. And yeah. Um, this could be in a lot of uh, large spaces where you've got sort of group work areas, or it could be office areas uh, where you want to sort of a, a little space where to talk. Um, um, where you, you can't get a very, very low reverberation time, no. but uh, you can make locally uh, sort of the screens or, or absorbing areas uh, locally and uh, achieve good results. So what you're saying is actually when, when you have these kind of problems, these kind of rooms, mm -hmm. you can achieve good conditions even if you have a high reverberation time. Yes, of course. Yeah. I mean, it can't be. You've got to, you've got to do something with the reverberation time. Okay. Yes. Would it be better if you had uh, acoustic ceilings or wall panels uh, uh, together with the screens. Yes, of course. If you, if you, if you could do that, uh, yeah. that would be yeah. even, even better. Um, but the thing is, um, uh, if you're wanting to have uh, privacy from uh, actually the, the signal noise ratio between yeah. the speech, uh, you're speaking at the same table or so, yeah. um, if, if uh, it actually helps with a little bit of background noise for the, the, the poor speech intelligibility uh, uh, away from you. Yeah. So, um, but generally, I'm speaking, it's better, of course, to to to, to uh, get some more option in the room, and then uh, locally look at the, 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 the areas where you're going to be using the okay. speech. Yeah. Is that something that often happens in Denmark that the architecture is winning? <laughs> yeah, of course we yeah. have we have to work with the architects and, and uh, design buildings so that they're going to work. But the um, uh, it's in schools where you've got um, a requirement of 0 0.4 uh, yeah. for, for group work. Um, that would be very hard to achieve in very very large open spaces, okay, which are yeah. quite popular and and also um, uh, good for group work. Yeah. Um, so by using those large spaces and, and achieving good results, good uh, uh, doing good uh, things locally in, 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 yeah. in the areas for the group work yeah. is, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, then could you tell me, if you had an unlimited budget for research, mm. what would you like to do? Um, of course, testing. We haven't, with our paper, with, with, we haven't been able to measure, do, do measurements. So all this has been models, uh, model yeah. experience. Uh, we have experience with other, uh, other projects, of course, but um, yeah, to be able to, to to carry out some more investigation of this and, and do some uh, some testing. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Richard Bellinger. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.